Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in two different colors. The yarn is in size 4 medium and a crochet hook is in size 5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot. Now I'll chain 8. Now through the last chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. Now that you have created this loop I'll chain 5. Now right there through that loop I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain 2. Through that same loop I'll make one double crochet. Chain 2. Through that same loop I'll make one double crochet. Chain 2. Through that same loop I'll make one double crochet. Chain 2. Through that same loop I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this until we have 8 double crochets with 2 chains in between. Again I'll chain 2, then through that same loop I'll make 1 double crochet. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now to finish row 2, uh, now to finish row 1 I'll chain 2, then right here through this third turning chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 1. Now I'll chain 1 and I'll cut this yarn. Now for row 2 I'll use yarn in different color. Now right here through this first 2 chain loop I insert my hook and I insert my hook through this slip knot loop and pull through. Again I'll chain 4. Now through that same loop I'll make 3 triple crochet. So the 4 chain in the beginning counts as 1 triple crochet so we have 4 triple crochets in a sense. I'll chain 3. Through this next 2 chain loop I'll make 4 triple crochet. I'll chain 7, then through this next 2 chain loop I'll make 4 triple crochet. So now we need to make uh, 4 corners of this uh, circle. And this is our first corner. Again I'll chain 3, through this next 2 chain loop I'll make uh, Four triple crochet. Again, I'll chain seven, and this is our second corner. Now, through this next two chain loop, I'll make four triple crochet. chain 3. Through this next 2 chain loop I'll make 4 triple crochet. Chain 7. And this is our third corner. Now through this next 2 chain loop I'll make 4 triple crochet. Chain 3, through this next 2 chain loop I'll make 4 triple crochet. Chain 
And now to finish row two in our last corner, I'll chain seven. Then right here through this fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. And we'll chain one and cut this yarn. So this will be our first square. But you see here, I already made three squares in the same uh, colors. So I'm going to go back instead of making another square on the camera. All right, so I'll go back to this first corner. All right, since now we need to join through three of these corners because we already have three and this is the fourth square. So now for this first corner I'll chain three. Then right here through this first seven chain loop I insert my hook and I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain four. One, two, three, four. Now through this next two chain loop I'll make four triple crochet. Now I'll chain one through the next three chain loop. I insert my hook and I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain two through the next two chain loop. I'll make four triple crochet. Again, now we reach this next corner, so I'll chain three. Then right here the center, see where we have joined these other three corners, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook to a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain four. Through this next two chain loop I'll make four triple crochet. Now we've reached, the, and now I'll chain one. Again, through this next three chain loop, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain two. Through this next two chain loop, I'll make four triple crochet. Again now I'll chain three. Now we have reached this third corner. Then through this next seven chain loop, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain four. Through this next two chain loop, I'll make four triple crochet. Chain three. Through this next two chain loop, I'll make uh, four triple crochet. Now to finish this fourth corner, I'll chain seven. Then right here through this fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one, leave a medium sized tail, cut the yarn, then uh, I'll weave these ends in. So we'll join here. We have uh, so I said one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, for the whites, we have uh, six of these motifs, and here for the length, we have four. And then we have we have joined the uh, two more on the each side for the shoulder and then we repeated the same thing here for six lines for four rows on uh, the left side. So this is how we join them. Now don't mind the color. <laughs> I uh, didn't have enough cotton. It's 
seems to happen quite a lot for me. So now right here, I'm going to just leave like a cropped uh, top or something like that. <laughs> Mostly because I don't have enough yarn, but if I uh, had enough cotton, not yarn, I would uh, have made uh, maybe eight rows. Um, I don't generally like to make motifs because, uh, you know, to do them this way because they are very time consuming, but this time around I did. So right here, when we uh, split this in half like that, um, let's see. Hmm. So I'm going to add two extra motifs here on the, on the left, right side and two on the left side. Right side, left side here for underarm area. I thought it was going to be three, but it looks like that's not going to work. So, one, two, three. We're still joining them the same. I'm just showing you where to join it. So right here on the side, we just joined two more of these motifs. Now we repeat the same thing on the right side. And I'm gonna